don't want to sound like a civil protection unit, do you? Don't have large amounts of cash to buy expensive audio software? Then look no further. I'm going to be using Audacity for this. And that is all you'll need. Alright, so basically I've been getting people asking me how do you do the CP voice in your audio diaries? So, instead of explaining to them, I'm just going to make this video here. So, the program that you're going to need is Audacity. Not the beta version, you need to get the, the normal version because the beta version doesn't have something called FFT filter. So, just search for Audacity in Google and you should be able to get it. I'm not going to show you how to install it. Um, go look at another tutorial for that. So, first of all, open up Audacity. You should get this right here. And this is very, very simple, really. You just need to record what you want to say. So, um, this is my civil protection voice. Blah, blah, blah. Makes me sound like I'm talking through a mask. Now, that's just going to sound normal at the moment. So what you need to do, you need to select all, control A, or by going into edit, select, and then all. I use control A, I find it a lot faster. And then, first of all, because the civil protection units there, vocoders make them sound a lot deeper to make them sound more scary. So you need to change pitch, and depending on your voice pitch, then I'm going to put mine down to minus 18 because that's how it sounds better with my voice. And you see it changes slightly there. And now here's the secret to how you get your CP sounding voice. You click effect. I'll have all this selected by the way. And you need to FFT filter here. And now you're going to get this line and you're going to click and drag it up to the top here. And then you're going to click anywhere else as long as it's like along down the line somewhere here and it'll create a dent in the line there and you just need to you can wiggle it about and stuff like that you need to place it like that so it's in that sort of shape it doesn't need to be exact it doesn't need to be exactly 15000 hertz or anything like that as long as it is in that kind of shape then this will work click OK and you see a drastic change there and then to finish it off you need to high pass filter put it up to about I know I'll run it on uh, 1015. I'm not sure if it makes much difference if you put it on anything else, but I just use it on 1015 and click OK. And now at the moment it'll sound like my voice is going through a radio, but we want to make that effect a little bit more pronounced. So we're just going to do the same thing again. FFT filter, save your progress, so just do that again. Have us filter again. Now I see it's getting pretty loud here. Now, what I do if I see it getting really loud is I do high pass filter again or a few more times just to make it a little bit more quieter. FFT filter again. Then we can do high pass filter a few times. So it's a bit quieter. And let's see what this sounds like. This is my voice. Um, not sure if you heard that there but that sounded exactly that I needed it to sound like. Of course you might be trying this right now and you'll see that it works. Uh, I hope this tutorial helps you on making your own civil protection voice or maybe machinimas and the like.